So uh, we are still working on a little technical issues here, uh, but let's get started with um, an AP screen. Uh, let's get an AP X-ray. Um, the you know the starting um, planning is very similar to the interfacet fusion that we have seen. So um, do you have the camera here, sort of to look at the? Can you pull out for one second? Um, so let's look at. So here is uh, the middle line. Was uh, there was midline? Right here was midline. Here's where Osama went in there, and I, it looks almost like a circle. So I started here with my crosses here right now, so we can continue that game afterwards. Um, but I'm. This is the middle pedicle line here right now. Here was midline, and so I took an X-ray right at the middle of the pedicle. That's actually the one that you had, like right at the medial aspect of the facet line. Um, and so I placed a, a, a needle here right now, so we'll move over to a lateral X-ray. And I'll do a four or five, uh, I do a foraminotomy on the same level. So just um, do that. And so you can see that um, we have the approach angle right now here. Uh, it's a little bit less steep than the facet. Uh, and you can basically make an angle between the disc and the facet line. And we cut it roughly in half here right now. One very important thing in the cervical spine when you approach there is that Oh, nice, um, that you cut the fascia. And so I like to, what do you mention, just taking that please? Uh, take an 11 blade, make the incision, uh, and also make the incision through the fascia so you can advance in there. Not too much, again, you don't want to cause any unnecessary bleeding, let's see where we are roughly, x-ray. Okay, so we're pointing right at the right spot. Okay, nice back. Then we have the dilators. Would you mind just holding those for me and I'll just grab one of the other. Um, we advance here right now. Again, there should not be a lot of uh, resistance. The fascia is opened here right now. We start palpating uh, right down there. I want to palpate the edge of the, the bony edge. Right here's the gap here right now. So x-ray, okay. So I felt the gap. And so it's serial dilating. Uh, Dilation, I always like to dilate onto bone, obviously. Um, so safe first, so I can feel the bone here right now. Bevel facing laterally, so we push the tissue to the side. And again, a little bit of tissue dissection down there, making the next step a little lighter, uh, easier. Rotate them, went on the way in there. Okay, place the first tube. Let's see where we are for a second, x-ray. Okay, that looks pretty pretty good. Um, so you can take those out. Uh, can I have the endoscope is here? I'll take a pituitary, please. Andy, are you around? Or, okay. The famous red screen, of course. Hey, Christoph, so yeah. is the bevel to the is medial when you start or is it lateral? No, the bevel it faces medial here. Uh, so here, uh, sorry, I, hadn't, I didn't have it in. So it's, the bevel is always open medially. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you get more flush to the spine that, that way. Can you, I'm not, can you show me the other tubes? Can you give me a, a tubal retractor? Yeah, anyway, anything. So uh, the way they're uh, designed is they are open towards that round area here right now. Mm -hmm. And so, so it's open towards medial. You see that, the bevel? Right. Okay, great. All right, so now we are right on bone. I can actually palpate the bone. Uh, I'll take a pituitary. So now our approach is, is uh, done. We have, you know, the bone is exposed down here. So is the camera, the, is it a 15 degree, 30 degree, and is it? Uh, it's 15, 15 degrees. 15. And it's medial Wait, right first. now, Can you give facing me medially? What's that? 15 degrees medially. 15 degrees, yeah, uh, yeah upwards. Uh, the working channel is in the back, and it kind of looks upwards, uh, forward. So the, um, uh, yeah, so the camera is in the back of the image. So now we have bone exposed. So now I want to see where we are, x-ray. Okay, so move downwards a little bit. So I'm on on four. Move up here a little bit. And then here is five. So we see uh, that's probably the beginning of the facet joint. 
So here's rostral. Here's medial. Here's the four lamina. Here's the five lamina. Drill, please. Again, uh, and so typically then we'll take the x-ray out, but before we take the x-ray out, I always like to leave a mark in there, making sure that we have the drilling just right. So here, the medical mark on the lamina of four. Okay, get an x-ray. All right, so we see that we are right at four, two, three, four. Everybody agrees you're at four, five at the superior lamina, and we can bring the x-ray out. Okay, I'll start doing a small hemilaminotomy here right now. Okay, let me know when I have to get out of your way. Okay, so small hemilaminotomy. Um, okay, so now at this point we want to see a little bit of the uh, dura, obviously. So we just make a small hemilaminotomy. Okay, I'll take the kerosene. Um, big yeah, big one. Okay, so now we have uh, we have, we've gone through the lamina here. It's really hard to see. I have a uh, it's, okay, just doesn't fit in there. Uh, it this is not assembled correctly. Well, can you give me another one, please? Is there any way that we can? Okay, so here we see uh, the lamina of four here right now. We drilled the rostral edge. I want to just take a kerosene, uh, open this up a smidge. This is a little kerosene, so we'll get, get a little bit bigger one next one. These are tiny. So now the first, uh, it, like it, again, there's no, uh, the first move is always you want to see the thecal sac, making sure you're in safe territories. Can I have the, is the large kerosene working? Perfect, thank you. So here we go. So number one is, is accomplished. We've done a little hemilaminotomy. We're looking down on the door. Um, here's the Dura right in front of us. Does everybody see that here? Okay. So, so in real life, Christoph, this would be like a, a bloodbath now. What, what things do you do to not make it be like that? One more, one more time, I didn't hear that. Oh, I'm saying, so usually there's a lot of bleeding at this uh, stage. What things do you do to make it where you get a screen that looks like this in real life? Uh, again, um, most important thing is you know exactly what your pressure is, you know, so that uh, you adjust. Uh, the Tremex pump has a uh, control of where you can set the level. You can set the, you can zero it, so to, so to speak. And so it's really important that you have it zeroed, uh, that you know exactly where you are. Can I have the larger kerosene, please? These are, can we get that to work? Um, yeah, so here we go. So here is, uh, so you have make, want to make sure that the pressure is correct. Uh, you want to make sure that your meticulous control of you know, the uh, little bleeders. So you really take care of every bleeder as they accumulate and it becomes more and more, and then also more and more, it's harder to control. Perfect, thank you. You know, the more bleeders you get, the harder it becomes to control. Um, so you want to really stay ahead of the game, so to speak. So here we go, so now, so basically we're, we're finishing up a, a hemi laminotomy here right now. Uh, and that's a safety thing. So it's just a safe thing. You want to make sure that you know where the thecal sac is uh, you want to make sure you know where the lateral aspect is so that you're not lost in there. All right, so now we're done with our hemilaminotomy. Pituitary, please. Uh, it, uh, so there's a little uh, fascia on top, which I'm going to pull off here. It's a little fascia here on top. You can see that. I want to just pull it off. There we go. Vapofix. The, the coagulation. Okay. Okay, so here is the neural elements are done here. And the next step now is to find the foramen. And the nice thing about uh, the endoscopic work, you can actually follow the inferior lamina. So on my right side is the inferior lamina of five. And here's the joint. And so you can basically follow this out there nicely on the inferior lamina. Um, so we just drill more lateral and complete our medial facetectomy there. So we drill here. 
Hey, Andy, can you make the screen a little bit larger? It's, it's tiny. I think there's a magnification thing on the screen, right? So we use the entire screen. Yeah, that's all right, whatever. OK. <laughs> OK, so I'm following the lamina out there. As I showed on my, my images before, you want to find the pedicle of five. And then we're going to find the nerve root right on top of the pedicle. And then once you're lateral to the pedicle, we are done with our decompression. All right, so drilling this down here right now. And uh, I think I'm very close to the pedicle of five here. Okay, carry some, please. Thank you. Okay, and so we can look down here. Uh, I'm on the pedicle here, pedicle of five. I'm getting stuck here. I'll expose it here in a second and show it to you just for the fun of it. Uh, drill, please. Can we clean that, please? Oh, the drill. The drill, please. Sorry. So again, left is four, the five. Medial is here. Lateral is here. We are starting to look down on the pedicle. Uh, we're going to find the exiting nerve root in a second. Uh, and uh, and we can then complete the decompression of the nerve root. I just want to show that pedicle because it's such an important landmark. Uh, Vaporflex, the bipolar. All right. So here is uh, pedicle five is here. I'm medium. Just off. Yep. We're having a discussion because it looks like you have huge biceps. Is that from endoscopy? <laughs> <laughs> the endoscopes are so heavy. No, probably, yeah, yeah. By the way, you're I'm, I'm, I'm blushing here. Um, anyway, but, but here's a pedicle that is only half of the size of my biceps. Uh, so here's the alpha C5 pedicle. You see that? And so then follow this out there, and right on top of that, Again, always on top of this pedicle, you find the nerve root. So here is the nerve root, um, the five nerve root here right now, still a little covered. So just now I know exactly what I have to do. I'll do the last little drilling and won't carry some bite and we're done. Um, and so, um, here we go. So we drill this down here. Here's the IAP from four coming down. Polish this, you know now where the nerve root is. I saw the nerve root already. We drill a little bit there. Again, the nice thing about this diamond drill bit, you can roll it over the edges and then take your tubular retractor to pull it back a little bit more. Looking upwards and sidewards here, uh, you're going to expose the entire exiting nerve root here. Looking around. Again, there's a lot of turning around. The, hard, the harder thing about these cervical cases is endoscope control. In the lumbar spine, you don't have to move your endoscope as much. In the cervical spine, there's much more moving around, which might be a little bit more disorienting for people watching this right now. Kerrison? All right, so now we have a little bit more soft tissue and we can finish this up here right now by carefully unroofing the soft tissue away from the nerve root. Here we go. Carefully getting in there. Boom. There we go. All right, so it should be one of the last bites, famous last bite. And here's the foramen out there. And here's the nerve root. Oops, I think that was the last bite here. Anybody who's ever worked with me knows that there's nothing such as the last bite. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes the hardest part of the operation is know when to stop. I know, <laughs> it's just it gets so good. Uh, okay, so yes, uh, give me the, I just want to, micro punch. This is just cosmetic, the, the little one. All right. I mean, it looks real good. Uh, so now we've done a complete uh, frame anatomy, um, and which is easy when there's not a lot of pathology. So here, I just take those, these little ligaments off here right now. So, so in real life, you would take all the ligaments off? Like I would not. Those, like, I would not. You don't. So in real I life, you leave, them, no, you leave them there. One thing is in real life is sometimes you have ventral osteophytes, and I have a case there, blunt sector. So the hard thing is... Blunt dissector. Which one? The, this one, the blunt, blunt dissector, blunt, this guy. 
All right, so let's, uh, we're done with our frame anatomy. So we've done everything here right now. So here's the pedicle of five. So here's lamina of five, pedicle five. Here's medial, is the thecal sac. Around the pedicle goes the exiting nerve root, lateral to the pedicle. So we're done with our decompression. You can't go any further than that. And then um, here's the outside of the thecal sac, outside of the nerve root. It drapes over that disc here, the uncovertebral joint is right in here. Can, do you guys see how I kind of drop in there? That's where the uncovertebral joint is, right in here. Right in there, and you can also reach that uncovertebral joint via the axilla, get it in there. But um, again, this nerve root is totally decompressed and this, there's nothing else you can do here. Great, uh, that's fantastic, Christoph. Very clear picture. Cool. Thank you. All right.